Right, in this video, we just want to look at the difference between these two different summations. So the major difference is this. In this summation, we have the summation symbol, then a subtract 4 at the end of it. You want to see this as two separate terms because there's nothing joining them together. So this first expression needs to be evaluated as you see it going left to right, and then you subtract 4 from the final answer. Because basically, since this is just addition and this is just subtraction, all we're dealing with is a situation where when you're looking at the order of operations, Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Remember that? In that situation, the addition and subtraction is in the same level, which means that you just handle them as you see them going left to right. So I would do this summation first using the values here. So that would be 7 plus 9 plus 2 plus negative 1 plus 3. Work that out, and then at the end, I would subtract 4. So I'll work this out by doing 7 plus 9 is 16, then 2 more is 18. Take away 1 from that, you get 17. 17 plus 3 is 20, and 20 minus 4 gives you 16. So that's the answer for the first summation. Now for the second one, the parentheses preempt everything else. So we're going to do inside the parentheses first. So it's saying first, before anything else, you're going to subtract this 4 away from each of the x values. So that means that this list is going to become 7 minus 4, which is 3, 9 minus 4, which is 5, 2 minus 4, which is negative 2, negative 1 minus 4, which is going to give me negative 5, and then 3 minus 4, which is going to give me negative 1. So with these values that I have, after subtracting the 4, then I'll go ahead and add them up because we've completed all the parentheses work. Now it's just time to add. So we'll literally have 3 plus 5 plus negative 2 plus negative 5 plus negative 1. And when we're finished with that, we'll have our answer. So 3 plus 5 is 8. Take away 2 is 6. Take away 5 gives you 1. And take away 1, you end up with 0 as your final answer for this summation here. So this one produces an answer of 0, this one produces an answer of 16, and the difference again is the parentheses. Here the parentheses joins the subtract 4 to each x value, where here this is just separate from the summation symbol and it's done only at the end. So you have to pay attention to the parentheses. The parentheses lump these things together, so it's basically like we're doing the x minus 4 first for each value in the list, and then we add. So the parentheses are the difference.